this So Christmas has come to an end. No more munching on chocolates you don't particularly like. Having difficulty in watching the television because the Christmas tree is in its way. And also the presents that will probably be tucked away somewhere never to be seen again. Of course, don't get me wrong, it's good for family and enjoy it brought to my son. But at last, the tree is going. And the best thing for me about Christmas is that it's over. And I can now finally get out and do what I really want to do. Happy New Year everyone. Hope 2019 brings lots of happiness and joy. 2018 for me was a wonderful year in terms of photography, vlogging and meeting new people. If you haven't checked it out yet then I did a, a highlights vlog of 2018. Today I've parked at Glen Ridding. Uh, I've got here about an hour before sunrise. Sunrise now is gone. 10 minutes ago nothing happened but I'm not that unhappy because it just means I've arrived here plenty of time to uh, explore from Glen Reading I walked up past Lanty's town beautiful little town I might come down uh, later and see what I can capture there but the intention today is to head up to a fell called Burke House Moor now Burkhouse Moor is probably more commonly known for a fell on its way to Helvellyn. Now Helvellyn is England's third highest mountain. Maybe, just maybe, might have a glimpse of that today and the famous ridgeline strain and edge. Looking around however, very low lying clouds so I'll have to see what, what I can find up there. But hopefully, there's some, there's some good moody photography. Just that I like it. How come the first walk after Christmas is so hard? I wonder. I turned into a bit of a couch potato, to be honest. Eat lots of chocolate. So that's one resolution. Cut down the chocolate. So I am battling a bit with the rain, it's intermittent, comes and goes. I haven't quite made the top of Burkhouse more, but I'm looking around and there's loads of low-lying clouds just moving slowly over the top of the fell. And I really like that, it just creates some atmosphere. In particular, there's, there's some hovering over St Sunday Crag, which is the fell in the background. And I spotted this foreground interest, it's like a little pool of water. And I've got close, I just love the shapes. I've moved around a bit, and the composition I've gone for is where the pool of water is, it's, it's curving, it's bending round the bottom lower half of the frame. And there's two like prongs on the right hand side. I just think it helps bringing the image together and focusing on the background. Uh, F11, I've had to use a two-stop soft grad because it's quite bright was the the clouds or the light re reflecting off those I'm very pleased with this I know exactly what I'm going to do it's all about the shapes simplicity black and white mood yeah I'm pleased with this so I'm gonna head up to Burkhouse Moor and see what else I can find So 
it's that time of year where we set ourselves resolutions more often than not they're around health diet I'm gonna stop well not gonna stop but I'm gonna reduce eating so much chocolate and sweet stuff um, there's also keeping fit exercise often you join the gym but then realize come end of March that you would still have a gone so set yourself some goals have a plan which is realistic in terms of photography my advice is to you my advice to you is to do a project set out do a little project perhaps some seascapes some mountainscapes uh, what, close up shots to me composition improves through experience so go out venture different places um, my plans this year I'm going to continue with the fells climbing the fells in the Lake District I'm just over 100 uh, and there's 214 to do in total so plenty of adventuring to go but my main plan this year is to produce a calendar yes but this calendar is going to be slightly different because it's going to be a viewers calendar so this is where I involve you each month I'm gonna choose what five images from various sessions throughout the month I'm gonna let you choose at least one image per month by October I want to set 12 images it's just over one image per month so I'm looking forward to that so make sure you tune in at the end of every month beginning of every month and I'll uh, allow you to choose which image goes into the calendar and then from November I'll have it produced and on sale ready for Christmas all being well other plans as well you may have heard if you follow my mate Chris Sale we are doing a workshop really looking forward to that overwhelmed with the popularity of that but we had to be um, restricted to how many people um, but yeah a free workshop as well come on free I'm surprised you got so much interest anyway look forward to that should be fun but uh, let me know what's your plans for 2018 so I made it to Burke Moor and the views of Ullswater just opened up revealing its S curve. My attention, however, is not towards there. My attention is Helvellyn and Striding Edge. The wind is absolutely ferocious. I did have intentions to get on top of Striding Edge. I've never done it. I've always wanted to do it. Slightly nervous about it, if I'm honest, and you'll know exactly what I mean. It's basically a ridge and a ret and the drops either side uh, well steep to say the least I'm gonna try and get up as close as possible and try and get a decent image but the clouds are just weaving their magic you can see their low-lying clouds so I'm gonna try and get as close as possible so there it goes
Steady. I'm on spreading edge and my heart is pounding. It really is. Oh, can't describe the words that I'm going through at the moment. The mist is just creating more mystery. I don't know. I don't know what's either side of me. Very, very steep. I think it's about a 200 meter drop either side. Forget about the composition. There might be something back there. I'm going to head back. Um, but I'm on the ridge of Striding Edge and I've done it. Wow. I was determined to get something, come away with something on this wonderful, wonderful place. The danger, the adventure, the atmosphere. Yes, the conditions have helped, absolutely. I wanted to put some scale into the image and what better than a human being, myself, absolutely dressed. The problem I had is getting to the point where I wanted to be in the composition within 10 seconds because my timer didn't make it so spots a few fellow walkers and they kindly press the trigger button and here's the image Let's just recap what I've just done there. I've just climbed on the ridge of Striding Edge in a horrendous wind, damp as well. But I'm rather pleased with myself. Rather pleased indeed. I was determined. I think adrenaline kicked in as well as I ran up that peak just to get that image. Um, so really pleased. Really pleased really is windy as well uh, the light is quickly fading so I'll sign off now keep smiling until next time take care of yourself bye bye for now